In this video, I will briefly discuss the effects of technology on memory and attention. In order to understand how technology influences our cognitive processes, one first needs to understand that the brain is highly malleable to experience. This brain process is called neuroplasticity. Simply put, cognitive processes that are practiced are often strengthened, whereas cognitive processes that receive little practice are weakened. So what cognitive functions are strengthened and weakened when using technology. Research, for example, Blacker and Kirby in 2014, suggests that the visuospatial working memory and certain attention functions are strengthened when playing with action or other video games. Some research, for example, Small, Moody, Siddharth and Buchheimer in 2009, even suggests that computer use can improve brain function in the elderly. Many of these experiments can be criticized for their artificiality because they use computer tasks to assess working memory abilities. It is kind of obvious that avid computer users will do better on computer tasks than people who are less keen. From another point of view, however, it does make sense. Obviously, flight simulators can effectively teach people how to fly and someone who builds structures through Minecraft should develop a better visual-spatial memory. The positive effect of Minecraft on spatial memory is actually supported by a recent study, Clemenson, Henningfield and Stark in 2019. Other cognitive functions are weakened from the use of technology. One of my former students once said that she thinks that reality is boring. Many movies and video games are very exciting. Something is constantly happening. It has been hypothesized that if you are exposed to too much of this type of attention-grabbing technology, you will find it more difficult to do important things that are less exciting or interesting, such as schoolwork. This ability to focus on a task for a longer period of time is called sustained attention. The negative effect of technology on sustained attention has been demonstrated in a correlational study by Swing, Lin and Ku in 2012, who found that the more time a child spent on video gaming, the more attention span difficulties and the more poorly she or he did in school. The research findings suggest that the effect is bidirectional, meaning that children with attention span difficulties are more attracted to playing video games, and the use of video games can lead to even worse concentration difficulties. Technology may affect our memory processes as well. As information is so easily accessible through technology today, we may not make the same effort as before to consciously remember information. This effect is called digital amnesia, or the Google effect, which is the tendency to forget information that is easily available online. The effect was first demonstrated in a study by Sparrow, Liu and Wigner in 2011, in which participants were told to type in trivia statements into a computer. Participants who had been told that the statements would be erased had a better recall of the statements compared to participants who were told that they would be saved. Although this research study has had issues with replicability. It intuitively makes sense that increased accessibility of information may reduce individual efforts to store information in long-term memory. Technology, like all experiences, shapes the brain. Technological effects can be both beneficial and potentially harmful. So far, the human technology symbiosis has been generally advantageous but it is essential that we develop appropriate habits to use our current technology responsibly. The goal should always be to build a flourishing society of well-adapted individuals.